Moving no, we, on. Uh, we, yeah, have, moving on. we have Drew Dober versus Moicano. Um, what, that fight night card again? Yeah, no, go on. Yeah, Drew Dober's back in action uh, since he... What? He lost to... Um, I think his last fight was a loss to Matt Frivola. He KO'd him, I think. Um, oh, no, no, no. So he came back and he, he fought Rick Glenn since then. Moicano's actually... Hasn't fought in a while, has he? No, his last fight was... Ard- RDA? No, I think his last... Didn't he fight... Um, Ray Vidal? Drew was cancelled. Brad Riddell, yeah. Oh, okay. The, the submission against Brad Riddell was his, his last fight. Uh, and then RDA, obviously, that was just pretty insane. Demolished him, yeah. But he did step in very, very late yeah. on that one. Um, so fair play to him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and then he obviously beat Alexander Hernandez. Two really good wins there in Brad Riddell and Hernandez. Although Brad wasn't in the best point of his career when he... Um, no, when he fought Moicano openly. Coming yeah, out look at saying, that. You know, Moicano fought on. Oh, yep. Oh, sorry. Um, Moicano fought on the thirteenth of February against Hernandez, and then turned around to fight on the sixth of March. March. Yeah. Wow. Um, UFC two seven one and two seven two. What a good cunt. It's yeah. pretty cool. Um, he's yeah, he's a, a really good fighter to watch. Absolutely. Uh, pretty impressive jujitsu a lot yeah. of the time. Um, good hands. Yeah, some pretty good hands. Mm. Look, he's not. He's not going to be a breakout fighter, you know? He's not going to... Look, I, I really like the guy, but I don't He's see him getting all too. the way to the top. There's a lot of a lot of names in the way, and from how he looked against RDA, you know... It's tough. It is tough. <clears throat> I mean, it's tough for anyone to break that top uh, top echelon. You know, he's always... Like you say, he's always kind of been the guy who's stuck around top 10. Mm-hmm. On his day, he looks like he could be top three. But his day, he's just not that consistent. No. He reminds me kind of of Oliveira, Charles Oliveira, back when he was, you know, up and down, win, yep. loss, win, loss kind of fighter. Yeah, I can see that. The only issue is he is the same age as Charles Oliveira. And Charles kind of came good when he was about 29, 28. And Charles started in the UFC when he was like in his early, early 20s, wasn't it? Or maybe even yeah. late teens. <clears throat> well, yeah I'm, pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like 20 or 19. Yeah. Mm. So, and Moicano, uh, like I said, yeah, he's, he's the same age as... Um, Oliveira as Oliveira so whether he's going to have a, a turnaround like Oliveira I, I doubt it but you just feel like he's like right there he's like so close to picking the forbidden fruit but he's mm. just not going to fucking take it I think this matchup could really favour him um, and what you say there because Drew Dober has also had problems with white with, guys well white guys for one but also like making his way into the like being yeah. a being a solid name in the top fifteen, you know, like he, he has kind hard, of drifted yeah. around the <clears throat> the dregs. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like he's, he's like a top fifteen lingerer. Yeah, top yeah. fifteen to top ten kind of lingerer. Yeah, he'll never leave the top fifteen, but he'll never breach the top five. You know, he did all right against uh, Islam when they fought. He he held really? his own at least. He got submitted, but um, he held his own. For Can a we round. bring up Doba's record on sure. Sure Dog? Here it is. Drusafine. Uh Drusafine. Let's, let's see what's he what he's up to, eh? Yoke. Oh Drooby. He's how old is he? Thirty five. He doesn't look it. No, he doesn't. Looks like he's about like twenty two. Um <clears throat> on a bit, bit of a run before he lost to Matt Frivola. Uh, and then obviously came back, TKO'd uh Ricky Glenn. Who was what? He is. Oh yeah, so maybe he's broken the curse. But um yeah. <laughs> Jesus. There was there was a meme that uh Drew Dober was racist because he could only beat darker people. It was like, yeah, there was a comb- compilation of of Dober against black guys and then Dober against white guys. Like, yeah, because he's lost the <laughs> to the likes of Matt Frivola, who everyone beats, and uh, he beat like Bobby Green and fucking Terence McKinney. Like, who were pretty decent. But then, there's like decent no other black in their names right. on his fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just bullshit, but it's funny. It is bullshit, it but yeah, funny. it was a good joke mm. at the time. Yeah, but that that fight against Alves was crazy. Alves had some crazy head movement and striking in that fight, but ended up getting finished by a punch to the body. Even the fight against Bobby Green, Bobby Green oh, was yeah. pacing him up oh, up yeah. until that knockout. Mm. And Terence McKinney rocked him a bunch early, uh, and then he came back. Three fights where he's managed to come back there in a row. 
Um, very durable guy. Mm. But you, you're favoring. I'm favoring Moicano. Moicano in this one. Mainly, I. That's that's more with my heart. You know, I, I like Moicano. You do? Yeah, I like him. I think he's really funny. I like I like watching his little clips on on what's going on in the MMA world. It's yeah. uh. <clears throat> Give me the fucking money, Dana. Yeah, it's quite refreshing because. English isn't his first language, but like he knows all of these weird words that you just wouldn't expect him to. That one where he's like, "I fuck your mother." Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. just he's he's very out the gate. He is. He's he's <clears throat> unhinged, mm. um, and he's funny. Like he's been on YouTube streaming a lot. He's built a bit of a fan base. You know, I'll be rooting for him. I mean, I like both these guys, and I think it's going to be a banger. I, if I could predict one fight to be fight of the night. Putting all my chips on this one. Yeah, this is Drew Dober. First of all, comes out swinging. He does not give a shit about winning or losing. He just wants to put on fight of the night after fight of the night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> durable. Both of these guys really durable. Both of them have great hands and some awesome rest. Like I just don't see how this can't be a fucking banger of a fight. Funny, like just a little bit off topic, but Moicano was uh, the first video I watched that was announcing that Masvidal was going to be boxing because he trains in oh. the same gym. He doesn't really know him at all. He said this all in the video. He's like, but I've been watching him train and he's only been doing boxing. So he just like fully added Jorge Masvidal. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> it was just quite funny because like, I feel like he knew he had no place in breaking that news, but he's like, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's golden. <clears throat> I think, yeah, you told me about that. He is just one of the boys. Mm. Like he's just one of the lads, like kind of like a Darren Till kind of figure. Yeah, yeah, you know? I get that. Um, what's your prediction? Uh, Moicano. I'm gonna say second round sub. That's a good prediction. I like that. Thanks, man. I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna go. <clears throat> oh, no, I think Moicano is gonna win. I think he's gonna win. Oh, submission's a good call. I don't see it going to a decision. And I think second round is a good call. But you know what? I'm going to play devil's advocate. And I'm going to say Drew Dober, round two KO. Okay. Let's see how it plays out. Wait, did you see what we just did there? Did you do that on purpose? What? And I said round two KO. Okay. You just reversed me. No, I didn't. Kind of I was, cool. I was playing <clears throat> devil's advocate. Gun. Ock. Weird how okay is like the only word that you actually, you spell it out instead of like saying the word. Like Okay. Instead of just ock. You know what I mean? Could you imagine if we said ock? <laughs> yeah, it would have been it'd be fucking weird. But if if we'd always said ock instead of okay, we wouldn't have noticed any difference. We'd be like, imagine if we said okay. You know what I mean? Well, the other thing too is it's spelt O-K-A-Y. Yeah, that's true. Ah, and it's just a shortened version, isn't it? Good point. It's a very good point. He's always... Bloody correcting me, isn't he? You're, you're, by the way, you're kind of covered by the mic. They can't see your beautiful right eye. Well, <laughs> big Mike. Big Michael. Big Michelle. Um, <clears throat> moving down the, the, the card. This is probably quite Again. similar to Big Mike's piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. She's got a chode. <laughs> <laughs> she's, got, she's packing a heavy chode. A heavy chode. A girthy chode. <laughs> like this. This is like... Yeah, fuck yeah. Imagine yeah. having that. Probably got dials on it Imagine too. If your, pit, your bell end was that big. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, imagine if it was just that. There, there has been way too much. Yeah, we're, that's what we're leaning into now, in you know? That's what we're leaning into. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Randy Brown versus Muslim Salikov. Wait, what are you leaning into? We're leaning <laughs> into the fucking <laughs> the big mic. Oh. We're leaning into being that, you know, funny. Bit, you know, a bit blasé, a bit risque kind of pod. Just You just wait, mate. Next week, we're going to have triple the subscribers. Right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to buy them. <laughs> you're announcing Randy the Brown. Randy Brown. Muslim versus... Salakov. I don't know. Randy Brown. Look, this is where the card falls off for me. <clears throat> look, I'm not saying that. Of course it does. I'm not, look, I'm not saying uh, that these are... Right. I say this every time we have a dead fight night, though, don't I? Like, there's no draws on this card, and they know it, which is why they haven't well, been promoting it. Like, I mean, crazy. yeah, 
I mean, that second fight, Drew Dober versus Moicano, is a banger. Yeah, no, no, no but the, 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 I just said this is where it falls but, off. Yeah, I get where you look. I get what you mean. It is a bit of a shit show. It's not the best. Randy Brown is probably just going to get a decision. Let's be real here. Like, let's be real. One thing I don't understand is why Molly McCann is fighting on the prelims. Because everyone hates her. No, but like she's one of like the bigger names on this card. Yeah. Well, Even if everyone hates her, you still want to see her lose. You're right. You put oh it my, on the main card. That guy. Fuck, I wouldn't want to be Charles Johnson. As that ma- Maxim. 17 and 0. Gee, worse. Um, oh, Thember Grimbo's on the card. That, why is he? Again, with him, he's on the prelims. It's like, yeah, they have stacked the prelims a little bit. Thember Grimbo is the one that The Rock bought a house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> he was, so, like, yeah. sleeping at the gym, wasn't he? Yeah, and... He's fighting Pete Rodriguez, whose only win, uh, no, his his only win in the UFC, I believe, was against Michael Jackson, Mike Jackson, the guy who got uh, who who beat CM Punk and then had it overturned because he smoked weed. Oh damn! Yeah, imagine just being so chill that you're gonna beat CM Punk. You know, you just pretty sure you'd be pretty confident. I reckon you could probably beat. Thanks, man. I appreciate um, that. He's not very good, and he's really old. And he only started training when he was like, like three years before he fought. Yeah, that's <clears> that's pretty silly. Pretty fucking silly. That's a bit silly. But good on him Mr. for having a go. C M. Uh, Imagine anyway. having a name that you spell out. Yeah, I know. Hey. Cameron Mays. Is that what is oh, his is actual that, name? I don't know. I don't know. I just made that up. I don't know what he's called. Mm. C M. Hmm. Hmm. Some punk. Some punk. Some punk. <laughs> Maybe he's Chinese. Some punk. All right, that that's probably that's that's a enough. Bit far. All right, let's get back to the fight card. Randy Brown, Muslim Salikov. Randy Brown is gonna walk walk to a decision. Muslim Salikov is gonna gas late round two. Uh, Randy Brown, he's Muslim Salikov will probably win the first round. Randy Brown's gonna win round two and three, and he's gonna get the decision. Okay. Muslim Salikov just isn't that good. Thanks. Randy for Brown is also just not that good. Did that tab go? <laughs> Randy, rude boy. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll give you some context why we just <laughs> laughed. <laughs> like that. Wait, maybe I can zoom in. Whoa. So there's, there's Muslim Salakov. That's the man. There's the man. But yeah, I again, I no, I, I have to agree. Uh, this uh, isn't the best fight card no. in the world. Um, What's your prediction for this fight? Are you saying Randy Brown as well? Sure. Vivian Arujo versus Natalie Silva. Um, I'm probably going to go with Vivian. I'll go with Natalie Silva. Okay. Yeah, I just think Vivian's younger. She's got more of a chance of winning. <laughs> well, that's very... But don't care about these two. I really don't give a shit. Uh, moving on to the next one, a bit more interesting. We've got Alaskab Kazriov. Kazriev. Reeve. Is Reeve. I've heard a bit about this guy, and apparently he's really good. Versus, um, versus Mac Mud. Mac Mud Mac Murdo. <laughs> Fucking hell, these names are just getting worse and worse by the day. Mac Mud Muradov. Right, I'm going to go to this guy's eBay. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> eBay. <laughs> I'm going to buy him. Uh, I'm pretty sure they outlawed that years ago. Yeah, they did, in like, like ages ago. Yeah. Um. Here he is. Anyways. Well, what weight is this at? I don't even know that. Whoa. <clears throat> They're middleweights. He's on a tear. Oh yeah. Well, he's not lost. He he got a yeah, rear naked choke. Uh, and a, he's had two rear naked chokes in the UFC so far. So this his, is his two, third fight in the UFC. Oh yeah. The first one was contender series, but you know, still big break though. 2020 and then 2022, and now it's 2024 and he's fighting again. Yeah, so that is a big break. Lacking consistency, that's for sure. And he's um, 33, so he's not getting any younger. Um, 12 and 0. 12 and 0. And then Mark Mard, Mark Mard, Mark Mard, Mark Mard, Mark Mard. A bit more experienced. A bit more experienced, but he's had a few losses. Um, you know, He's shown that he can you know, be beaten. So he lost to Jared Merchart. So this guy's losing by submission in the first round. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry to ruin it for you. What do you think? I reckon he's going to, uh, Krizyev is going <laughs> to. Shizriev. Shizriev. 
Kizriev. Kizriev. He's going to get the submission Kizriev. first round. What do you think? Yeah, I like a first round finish for him. Um, Mahmud just yeah doesn't seem like he's he's built for the the upper <laughs> echelon. Look, we know good. we're just you know we're just double checking, you know. Mm. <laughs> Man, you're... Look, uh, <laughs> what do you want me to say? I don't know. No, no one at home's going. Yeah, I'm gonna tune in and see what they've got to say about Mahmud. All right, we'll move that, on. That is the most interesting thing about him. Final fight of the card. I'm going to say Radke's going to win by knockout. Hey, yeah. How about we move on? We will. Do, we? We'll, we'll talk about the prelims because Molly's fighting. We love Molly. Oh, we love Molly. We did talk. We did talk about the prelims, and we it is briefly, a bit more yeah. stacked. We've got. We've got some more names. Lee <laughs> Jiong Yeong. Lee Jung Yong. Jung Yong. Is that it? Lee Jung Yong. We're just butchering people's names today. That is what we're that here for. That is his name. Lee what Jung-Yong. is that one? What one? The, oh, this one. Julia Stolyarenko. Fucking hell, man. Dude, and, 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 and what's that down the bottom? Just hire Americans. Oh, Pogues. Yeah, I heard about this guy. Landon very bad. Quinones. This, versus that's the thing. Who the hell? Medeiros. Manquel. Medeiros. Madeira. Okay, That's not too bad, is it? Um, starting at the bottom here, there's two really fat heavyweights that, like, I don't get why fat, short heavyweights think that it's a good idea for them to just, like, eat food and stay at heavyweight. It's like, bro, cut the weight and go down to fucking Walter weight. You're not Daniel Cormier. You know what I mean? Like, they think, like, oh, yeah, I'll just be a heavyweight. You know it means I can eat whatever Imagine I want. Imagine how much power you could carry down to a, a lower weight yeah, class exactly. yeah, if you did, like you say, diet. It's just fucked up. Like, do you want a career in the UFC? You, do you want to actually be the champ? Or do you want to just go one for one? You know, win one, lose one. You know? It's like, fucking get it together, cunt. Anyway. Very aggressive. Molly McCann, I think she'll get the dub. Uh, she's probably been fed another can. Another can for Molly yeah. McCann? Probably just leading up to a, a fight night in England, I'd say. And they, they want to put her back on there with a win behind her. So. Yeah, fair enough. We do have one of those coming up, don't we? A main event some point this year. Yeah, England. some point this year. So, yeah, they, they've they've probably fed her a can here, and I didn't even I didn't realize that this was on this this fight card. Well, I even watched good the thing that card. I brought it up. Good yeah, thing yeah. that's the one oh, thing I yeah, knew about this this fight card. So she's from <laughs> Romania. Warrior princess Carolina Kovalkiewicz. She lost to last year. Um, I like Kovalkiewicz. Um, but yeah, she's been a bit of a one-on-one kind of fighter. Um, but you know, you can't say much different for Molly. She's not been doing well recently. Uh, bit exposed when she came up against actual, you know, decent opponents. Yeah. She, you know, two arm bars, isn't it? Ben? Yeah, I believe right. so. Blanchfield absolutely roasted her. Ugh. That was insane. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, she's been <laughs> doing pretty well recently. That's good. Who's this? Uh, Kovalkiewicz, because she had a re- obviously look like a big lo- loss streak, right? <clears throat> but she's four, like, uh, won four in a row, so good on you. She's thirty-eight though. Anyway, yeah. Molly Meatball McCann, yeah, she's lost two in a row, both by one Kimura and one Armbar. Both in round one, uh, you know, getting on a little bit. She's thirty-three. Uh, mm, I think Molly will win. I do. I- yeah, I think it would be good for the women's divisions because she is unfortunately one of the bigger names that we have left now. She is. Um, and that's saying something considering it. she hasn't built that from... Like, she got those spitting elbow finishes, sure. But apart from that, what, what has else she has she done that's impressive in the, in the fighting space? And it, it really comes down to, I think, her rise was... Quite parallel with Patty's rise, wasn't it? And it was kind of just the fact that both of them were spending a lot of time together, and it was they're both scouts. It, yeah, they're both like scouts, and their thing. personalities just bounce off each other quite well. So that I think is why we're sitting here talking about her, is because that that's yeah, how she's built. Big her name. personality, and she she clings on to Patty. And yeah, I'm not saying there should there's no disrespect involved in that, but it's just yeah, like I want to see her get to a, a higher level in, in fighting rather Hopefully than just... Hopefully, yeah, skill. Yeah. Improve. Um, I think she's doing pretty well for herself, though. She's got a... a, a um, I believe she's got a restaurant in Liverpool, which is pretty cool. Good on her. It is very cool. Um, yeah, saw a video Look, I, of them doing that. I like her style, but yeah, yeah. It, it, it just isn't technical enough to 
to match up with some of these uh, the top ladies. Yeah, the top ladies who do have a bit more of a complete <laughs> skill set. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no, I agree. I, I think she'll get the win. Again, I think they're kind of feeding her a bit of a can just so that she can get onto that uh, that England card. No worries. Um, so you know, we will see. We'll we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, there was one more fight I wanted to discuss on the prelims. Here we've got um, Themba Grimbo. So obviously, yeah, he he um, came into the line light when he wait cancelled. Up, go up. Oh right, there we go. Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> Themba Grimbo came into the limelight when he was purchased a house by uh, the one and only Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He was living at the gym, and Dwayne kind of hooked into his story a little bit and bought him a house, a nice house. Pretty cool. What? This could also be The Rock's Johnson. Could be. <laughs> I like that. Took me a moment to realize we're, exactly what that meant. We're just going to keep making dick jokes about these. The Rock's marks. cock. The Rock's... Well, I think The Rock's Johnson. Rock's, that's much more creative. Yeah. So far, it could be either Michelle Obama's or The Rock's Johnson. Or Big Big Mike as in Stormzy. Stormzy would probably have a piece like this. I When I say Big Mike, I'm referring to I know. Barack Obama's husband, Michelle Obama. Big Mike. Big Mike. Um, it's my favorite conspiracy theory on earth. It's a pretty good one. It's got a lot of holes. <laughs> Just like Barack Obama's chef. Um, Themba Grimbo, though. Exciting guy. He needs to win this fight, and he will. Pete Rodriguez, not Over very one. good. Yeah, yeah, but he got absolutely guy. bodied a couple times uh, when he lost to, was it, um, who's the Aussie? Oh, uh, Madalena Lena. Yeah, Jack Madalena Madalena. Madalena absolutely roasted this guy's face. With his fists. Oh, he's good, man. Oh, he he's is. fighting Gilbert Burns next. Like, yeah, no. He's, he's no he's slouch. No but Thimber Grimbo, I wish him the best because he, he does seem like a nice guy. Yeah. He's a good kid. But um, you know what they say? <clears throat> nice guys always don't don't always win. Nice guys finish last. And, you know, he's not in a race, but he's in a fight. And there's a winner and a loser. So if he if he's going to finish last, he's probably going to lose. No. If you finish last in a fight, you win. <laughs> don't you? You're the last person to finish. I guess so. I mean, if he was finished last, nice guys finished last. <laughs> we, we could we could say that. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this short episode of Combat Corner. If you like what you see, we've got lots of long form content below and lots of other videos like this. So feel free to go along and check it out. We really appreciate all your support. Thanks again for watching. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment, share it around. Have a good day. Peace.